You must be too. Okay. Claire, a beautiful young high school teacher who was unhappy in her marriage. Met Eric, a handsome high school athletic student desperate for a college scholarship. Let's go! Let's fucking go! So he asked Claire to help him improve his score, in which she agreed. Maybe you could help me. What, you mean like tutor you? Meanwhile, while at it, they both was a little bit attached to each other and felt lust for each other. Claire wasn't sure about her feelings towards the young boy, not when he kissed her. What are you doing? And then confessed his feelings to her at the school homecoming. I'm too attracted to you. But I feel like I can't control myself around you. Claire refused at first, thinking about the consequences and what it would cost her if she was caught, but then she couldn't hide the fact that she was attracted to the young by Eric. She then led him to a secluded spot where they had their first sex. I want to. Get in the back seat. Afterward, Claire and Eric loved it and they wanted more of each other. Claire had warned Eric to keep them a secret and never reveal to anyone, in which Eric promised to. You cannot tell anyone about us, ever. They hit it up at same spot with no sight few times before they went on weekend trip together alone. They had fun. Uh, follow me for the grand tour, but... Sex. Jealousy. Sex. <laughs> fun again. Oh, thank you, ma'am. There you go. They both expressed how much love and want to be with each other. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Before they head back to the city. Claire had a night out with her supposed trusted teacher, Catherine, who she consider as a friend. She questioned Claire about her weekend but was persistent and made Claire a simple-minded teacher who thought she could trust her as a friend, not as a teacher, confessed her little but big secret of her affair with her student to her. It's Eric. Who's Eric? Eric Walker. Catherine totally disagree with Claire. We're in love with each other. He's your student. And reported her to the authority. The secret affair was exposed while the authority questioned them both. A report's been filed. We know the whole story. We know you guys went away together this weekend. Confused, scared Claire and Eric, who's so in love with each other, decide to run away together, spend the night at a motel where they had their last sex. <laughs> Before Claire take a big step the next morning by submitting to investigation, pleaded guilty and was sent to jail for six months with five years probation. She automatically lost her job when she came back to the society that wouldn't accept her. Okay, no, no, no. This woman cannot work here. Google her, you'll see Claire Wilson. She's a sexual predator. Not when her face was plastered on the internet, tagged as a sex offender, and also she got divorced. Even though Eric was able to get in the university of his choice, he still couldn't overcome his emotional damage. They both couldn't. Everybody wants me gone. I just want to be fucking gone. After a few years of their struggles, Claire got married with two kids. Coincidentally met Eric at the store. Oh, wow. Eric. Hi. They both decided to meet again, but it doesn't went well. So you're married now. You have a kid. Well, two, actually. It appears even though Claire had moved on and was lucky to meet a man who doesn't judge her for her past, Eric hasn't. I help, Mom. Eric blames her for his trauma and they path ways. I will never be just one click away from this, Claire. I have to live with this forever.